All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily, where we post daily Rockets content. If that's something you enjoy, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everyone tuning into my live daily NBA show today. While we were live, Kyrie Irving requested a trade, and he requested a trade, and I guess he asked for like six different teams that he wants to be traded to. On my daily live NBA show, link in bio and in the comment section. Quick plug, sorry. Um, one of the things I've been talking about for like a week now is that Kyrie Irving, 100% in my mind, is going to be going to the Los Angeles Lakers. 100,000% going to team it back up with LeBron, which is when he was at his peak, and that's just what Kyrie needs. That's what LeBron needs. It's a match made in heaven. They're destined for each other, and they'll win a championship probably. Anyways, this isn't a Lakers video. The reason this is big is because, and there seems to be conflicting opinions on this, basically Houston in the James Harden trade that we made with Brooklyn, we have picks up until like 2028. We have like three pick swaps and then two just straight up draft picks where we get Brooklyn's first round pick. So we are set up for Brooklyn's downfall. Like we're just literally set up for Brooklyn's downfall. And you know, I've seen, like I said, I've seen conflicting stuff where some people in the chat today thought that KD wasn't gonna leave and he wanted to just kind of re, <laughs> not this shit again. Don't bring the random fucking coughs back. Anyways, a lot of people seem to believe that KD might stay. I think KD is 100% leaving, like 100,000% leaving if Kyrie Irving leaves. In fact, I think Brooklyn's going to fail just from here out. I think Brooklyn is just literally going to fail. And so Houston yet again hits another home run. This time, it's just like, I mean, it's like the top of the third. We're already up like 10 to one right now and we're it's about to hit like a three run home run 13 one it's like top of the third there's plenty of game left there's plenty of time left and so it just has me feeling so good because you know this is a Raphael Stone stand page right my profile picture is Raphael Stone the GOAT the best GM of all time <laughs> Raphael Stone to me has yet to make actually a bad decision uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if I'm forgetting something. A lot of people thought, myself included, we were all just kind of super. We were all just kind of confused when like the Depot trade happened, when the Harden trade happened, and even the Christian Wood trade. And then it's like one hour goes by, and it's like, yeah, like that's actually sets us up really well. And so having a first round draft pick, just having that asset from Brooklyn, even if they don't fail, which they're gonna fail. Even if like KD doesn't leave and Ben Simmons and him try and figure it out, it won't work. They'll eventually all want to get out of there because Brooklyn, as far as draft pick goes, as far as like assets even, they're going to have to get rid of some of the guys that are not going to want to get up, like Cam Thomas. You're going to have to get rid of Cam Thomas if you want to try and save anything that you have right now. You guys know my biggest, my biggest critic with Brooklyn, it's you don't have any defense, not a speck of defense. Ben Simmons helps it, but he doesn't fix it. So Brooklyn is on its downfall, and Houston is just set up. We're, we're literally set up so many guys. Houston, we have three problems, and their names are Tari Eason, Ty Ty Washington, and drumroll please, Jabari Smith Jr. So <sighs> summer league starts in what, like the ninth? I want to say summer league starts in less than two weeks. I am pretty positive that summer league is less than two weeks away and I'm absolutely amped. So really the purpose of this video is I guess kind of just Kyrie trade rumor and uh, when he leaves and goes to the Lakers, what are they going to get back in return? Russell Westbrook, buyout. I mean, that kid's getting bought out. Him and KD aren't running it back. Maybe KD stays for one more season, um, which I would imagine happens. So. You'll probably see one more year of like above average mediocrity from Brooklyn. And from there on out, we are going to not only start competing as a basketball roster of the Houston Rockets, but we're also going to be just kind of feeding Brooklyn Nets trade picks. And even what's even cooler about all this is we're hoarding and stacking assets, picks and young players, that when the opportunity arises to trade for a cat like Kevin Durant 
and it fits right. The fit makes sense. The contract makes sense. Houston's going to be loaded up on, on assets to make that happen. So let me know what you guys think about today's video. Let me know what you guys think about Kyrie Irving leaving Brooklyn. Is Brooklyn going to fail? Are they going to blow it up this year? Is it going to be next year? What do you think about the Brooklyn Nets? Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I appreciate you guys so much for 2,000 subs. It just kind of happened out of nowhere. Um, with the post-draft hype. So I appreciate all the love, man. Daily Rocket content on this channel. And I'll see y'all later.